Hi, this is Jamie from Time and Space, and today I'm very excited to be able to show you the new virtual synth from Rob Pappen that is Predator 2. Uh, this is the successor to the legendary original Predator synth released back in 2007 by Rob Pappen, and there's been a lot of development since then, so this is something that everyone's getting really excited about. Uh, the synth is aimed at a huge variety of genres, um, so as well as obviously working really well in all types of dance music, it can also be used in hip hop, experimental, uh, ambient, and uh, many more. And I'm sure you'll see what I mean uh, once I've shown you the features and presets. Um, so just to start with, um, I'm going to run you through some of the presets. If I just open up the preset manager here. Um, now these are all the banks on the right, um, and there's a huge selection to go through. Um, so I'm just going to play you a few of them uh, to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, let's take a look at the interface. So the first thing you'll notice, and this is the case with most Rob Pappen products, is that pretty much all the controls are on this one page, with the exception of this small section down here, which we'll take a look at later. And this makes it really nice to use. It may look a bit overwhelming to begin with, but once you've spent five minutes playing around, you'll realize it's actually incredibly user-friendly. But if you still don't want to use all the controls, Predator 2 offers uh, an easy page up here. And this basically contains all the most important parameters if you wanted to change the sound quickly. Um, or you could use this new handy variations section, um, which is basically intelligent randomizer. But let's switch back to the main interface and take a look at the different sections. So a great place to start in Predator 2 is with its three powerful oscillators, which I've highlighted here. Um, and you can pick and choose how many of them you want to use. And something really unique to Rob Pappen products, as some of you may know, is the extensive list of waveforms it offers. Um, for the oscillators. So if I just open up the list here, you can see we've got 128 different waveforms on offer, which is something you wouldn't find in any other virtual synth. And of course, we've got all the classic ones such as sine and saw, and then various combinations of them. Uh, but in addition to this, we also have uh, these vocal waveforms here, and spec, which are spectral waveforms. So lots of opportunities there. Um, and an entirely new feature to Predator 2, uh, which expands these waveforms even more, is we now have waveform morphing. And what this allows you to do is blend between two different waveforms in a variety of different ways, as you can see here. Um, and then you control the amount of blend with this dial here. So just a quick example, um, if I was to select a saw wave here, and uh, turn morphing on and select, say, a square wave here, and then I'll play a note and turn up this dial and you should be able to hear them uh, morph together. Also in the oscillator section, you can find some tuning dials, um, volume control, pan, and sub, which brings in another oscillator an octave below. Um, spread uh, generates a multiple oscillator sound, um, and this dial then controls the 
level of detuning to that. Uh, like so. Um, sim is the symmetry of the waveform. Um, so basically that moves the midpoint of the waveform, um, which then alters the pulse of it. Uh, the S mod controls the amount of modulation to the symmetry, and then this speed dial controls um, the speed of that modulation. So the second and third oscillators uh, pretty much have all the same controls, but in addition they have sync buttons here. Um, which synchronize them to the first oscillator. And they both also have the option of adding a ring modulator, um, which offers various modulation modes. Okay, moving on to the filter section. So Predator 2 offers two different filters, which you can switch between up here. Um, you can also use these in parallel with each other, which we'll take a look at in a bit. They've got all the dials you'd expect, uh, plus a few unique ones as well. Um, so you can select the filter mode here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a nice variety of low pass, high pass, band pass, and notch filters. And then you can control cutoff, resonance, um, envelope. This controls the amount of this filter envelope here, um, which offers you ADSR and a fade dial as well. Uh, then we've got velocity, key track, and modulation wheel. Uh, and these add a cutoff frequency modulation um, by either the amount of velocity used, keyboard note position, or modulation wheel. Then we've got an LFO dial, um, which controls the low frequency oscillator, which has got its own little section up here. Um, so you can choose the waveform, um, the speed, which can be synced to your host tempo, um, or you can choose poly, free, or mono mode. And finally, in the filter section, we've got pre filter distortion, um, which overdrives the oscillator before it goes into the filter. So, filter 2 contains all the same dials, which allows for lots of control, and we can use them both together in here. Uh, there's lots of filter modes um, to choose from, and if you select split mode, it will pan each filter to either side, uh, which can give some really cool effects. Uh, one other nice little addition to Predator 2 is this high pass filter section down here, um, which just is quite easy to access. Um, let's take a look at the amp section. So this is where we can find the master dials for volume and panning as well. And here we also have control over the volume envelope. Um, which again has attack, decay, sustain, release, um, and sustain fade as well. Um, we've got a few different distortion modes here as well on offer and some EQ mixing. Um, but let's take a look at this bottom section here now um, because this is where we've got a lot of new features coming in. So the XY pad is something that's been used in Rob Pappen products before, um, but not Predator. So it's a really strong addition to this synth and adds a lot more options for what you can do with the sound. So you control it from within this page here and you can add up to four different parameters um, for each axis that will modulate. Um, so if I open up the list of what you can modulate, you can see it's pretty much anything and everything really. Um, so say for my X modulation, I selected um, the filter frequency and turn up the amount. And then for my Y modulation, I'll select um, the semitones of oscillator one and turn that up as well. And I've got my XY pad set to live mode um, so this is what happens when I play. So as well as live mode, we've also got record mode, um, which allows you to record your own modulations and play them back. So then if I click on the play button now um, and hit the keyboard, it will play back what I just drew. Um, and then if you go into the edit page, you can um, shape it around some more um, visually. And you can adjust the speed. On top of this, if you go into the command section, um, you can find some preset shapes um, from Predator 2. So if I select um, Spiral Out, and then ask you how many um, turns you want to do. So if I say 30, and then I'll bring up that shape. Then we have the arpeggiator. Um, so this is a 16 step sequencer and you can have two different patterns um, which you can join together as well. So you could if you wanted uh, technically have up to 32 steps. Um, then we can also change the speed, um, the mode 
got some different orders here. And there are some other parameters along the bottom as well. Um, and along the side here, you can change stuff like slide and tune. So the next section we're going to look at along here is user waves, which is an entirely new feature to Predator 2, um, which allows you to form your own waveforms uh, by drawing them in. Uh, so you can have up to eight different user waves um, per preset. And the way you load them into your oscillator is by going up to the wave selection and selecting user waves. So let's select user wave one. And then you can just start drawing in the shape you want. And you can draw in a different number of ways. Um, you can select line. Or we've also got partials as well. And as well as drawing your own, um, you can load in any of the preset waves that come with Predator 2, um, and then you can edit them as well. So this really does open up uh, the possibilities of Predator 2. The next two sections along here are modulation controllers, um, similar to the first Predator, but expanded even more. Uh, so we can now have up to four different envelopes or four different LFOs modulating at the same time. Um, and then in this one here, we can control the pitch LFO or pitch bend. Um, and in here you can have up to 20 different free modulations. Um, so you simply choose the source, destination and amount, um, or if you click advanced mode, uh, you've got a few more options there. Moving on, we have another two new features. Um, the first being a chord trigger. So you can add up to eight notes in one chord by selecting them here in the play mode section. Uh, and then you can adjust these sliders here um, to change the pitch and the panning. Uh, then we have a few more advanced features on this page as well. Uh, the final section along here is EQ. Uh, so this is a three band equalizer, um, which allows you to set uh, pre effects and post effects EQ, um, and it also offers um, some presets for various um, sounds as well. With regards to effects, uh, we can have up to three running at the same time, and uh, we've got a nice selection to choose from, and they all have their own personal set of parameters as well. And if you link up these parameters to the XY pad, um, you can have a lot of fun with that. So that was Predator 2 from Rob Pappen. A really powerful synthesizer with so much to offer. Uh, I think it can work in so many different ways. Uh, so I'd highly recommend buying this product. Um, for more information on Predator 2, just visit our website at www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.